Hey, how you doing? Ill painting. I am going to do a painting from a reference photograph. This was a, this photograph is a free image. And um, when I say free image, it's copyright free. Um, it is of a, just a simple group of trees. All right, I'm gonna approach these trees a little differently than the trees uh, that I normally would do. Um, these will be a group of deciduous trees pretty much in a in a row Okay, we're gonna talk about uh, value in in uh, Different hues, okay, so with that said um, I'm gonna get right on to it. What you're looking at right now is a 11 by 15 inch uh, watercolor paper I have primed it with just um, blue and white paint and it should be totally dry right now all right you see some of the wrinkles in it because the tape obviously is keeping the paper static as i wet the paper of course when it starts to dry it buckles on um, the reason why it's buckling is because i did not wet the watercolor paper first if i would wet the paper let it dry wet it again let it dry then tape it i wouldn't get the uh, buckling all right but we're gonna just work with what I got here okay like I said it's a relatively simple painting um, sky trees grass that's it but we're going to talk about like I say um, different hues and in in and, and um, different tones of the same color all right okie dokie oh I guess I'll do this right now I'll loosely sketch um, uh, what the what the tops of the trees will be like I'll just put it right here it goes up a little bit comes down comes down again another triangular part it comes down a little gap here and it goes across all right that's the tippy top of the trees not much sky all right I'm gonna do something different we're gonna go to the bottom the trees are, are like kind of set in this weird kind of row all right and that's basically all it is and there you go don't know if you can see it well but all in here in the middle will be all the trees okay I'm gonna put some land in here the land is it's not too much of it um, I will adjust okay and it kind of get goes a little higher here just a little variance all right now we're gonna talk about different types of dark in this in here it's very dark almost pitch black all right then you have the the trees here then you have the sky now the trees since they're grouped together that doesn't necessarily mean that they're all in a, the same row all right they're not actually the a, a tree that is really in front like this all right there's another tree in the middle like this like that all right and then there's another tree um right around in here and it comes out comes in out and just like that then you got the tree in the back okay there's a little bit of highlight on this tree here and a little bit on this one here but we're gonna get to that all in here all right will be the trunks of the trees which are varied all right there's, quite, there's a, you know, a few of them. There's, there's some in here. They're very small, okay, and they're scattered throughout. There's some in here where you only see parts of them. Um, this one here that kind of branches out like a, a Y, like that. All right, and then you got a few more standing around in here. A couple of in here. Then you got a couple of them kind of sprouting out that way. And that's basically the painting itself, okay very fast let's look to the um, the palette here what we have for colors um, for today is titanium white yellow ochre cyan blue <coughs> burnt umber 
and sap green. All right, I believe that should be the only colors that will more or less be used. All right, and if you look also, I have uh, the vegetable glycerin, which very little will be used, and obviously my water. Okay, all right. We're gonna get right on to it. Um, I guess I'll use this brush for the, uh... now I'm gonna use the, the photo as a reference you can still uh, put your own little flourishes or whatnot in it. My photo reference does not have a cloud in the sky. All right, so I might put one in there. Let's go up here to the board. All right, I'm using obviously a slightly smaller brush to put the glycerin on. The glycerin helps keep the acrylic paint wet a little longer. Okay, and because I have a smaller brush, what it is is actually a three quarter inch flat. All right, now I'm just coating where I want the change of the sky or whatever if I choose to do so but I'm just coating the, the uh, canvas with the glycerin the glycerin comes out kind of uh, tacky heavier than syrup okay there I'll just use that all right let's go with a little cyan blue all right now the paint will sit pretty much on top of this stuff and that's how you can move it around and fade it around and, and all of that good stuff all right so we'll just do it this way all right now kind of darken that corner in here and I'll just kind of fade it around play with it a little bit take a little bit of white I did not clean the brush and I'll put some of that white right in here just a little lightness up in here just like that and we're gonna take a soft brush and we're gonna kind of uh, blend that all in I'm gonna try to get rid of the street marks um, if I want to put a cloud in there it'd be kind of my discretion if I feel it needs one or not we'll see as we do this I'm gonna take a smaller mop brush I'll show you to you down here and we're gonna come back up here and what I'm gonna do is lightly just go in a circular motion basically I'm just getting rid of the streak marks I'm not really concerned about putting the color on the uh, tops of the trees that actually help you bring some believability to your to your um your sky okay between the sky and, and the branches and stuff you're not going to see my i'm just using the bristles you're not going to see too much of the brush action because my hand is in the way and basically i'm just going in kind of large circles i'm just getting rid of the streak marks okay and very lightly i'll just go and little X strokes here, just blending stuff out. That's all, just make it as smooth as you possibly can. That's basically all you're doing. Just like that, like I say, it gets rid of the street marks. It's got a nice little plain sky going on there. Um, I'll take this mop brush, I dab into a little bit of white. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll throw in a piece of a cloud or something like that, just kind of faded here. All right, that's, that's about, about it right there something like that just going around here a little bit and it's just the smallest amount of white just to give a little bit of variance a little difference in there okay and that's basically it now kind of tap one in here a little bit and smooth it out and whisk some of that stuff and we just kind of tap him out there just like that just a little semblance of something in there you'll notice it as we uh, as we go along okay I'm just smoothing out a few things here I don't think I need to add any more I think that will be fine nothing really uh, to write home to mom about variances of dark color okay we'll let that dry and do whatever this, we're gonna come down here on the bottom and we're gonna get a, a fairly deep uh, dark going on with this okay I don't necessarily need to add any glycerin to all this you want to keep it solid and and dark all right okay I'm going to my umber all right now I'll put the umber right about here let's get a little bit of blue and put that blue in that umber I'm gonna need quite a bit so get a nice swath of cyan blue and some umber okay just like that i'll throw in a little bit of sap green just to keep a little bit of that color harmony going on in there because it's nothing but deep dark woods okay 
like I said, I don't really necessarily need um, a lot of, uh, of uh, any other color besides what I'm, what I'm doing in here. And then I'll just kind of put that dark red in there. All right. I don't have to worry about being um, making it look super pretty. If you can, try to keep it all one color. If you can, I'm coming here and I'll get the semblance of, well, let's do it this way. I'll just brush it down where there. A little semblance of some grass here on the, on the edge, just like that. But try to keep it as dark as you quite possibly can. All right, and that's basically all I'm doing. I obviously going to need a lot more of this deep dark greenish brown here and I will do that it's a very simple mix to get this deep dark um, brown happening here I'll just keep doing this it just gives me the similar like of the tops of grass or whatnot there's a method to my madness Let's go back into our, come down here, we're going back into our, our umber. Get a nice chunk of that blue, blue umber. Get a nice batch of it there. And we're going to throw some green in that. It's a color harmony thing. Just like this. Okay. Once again, different value of dark. Okay, now my dark here has green in it. Once again, just keep it to the color harmony of things. That's all. Wiggle it around a little bit. It's where your leaves are going to connect at down there. And I'll just kind of surround this with nothing but this super dark. It's really a brown green, very dark. If I added white to this, it would turn gray, believe it or not. It would turn a warm, uh, probably a warm, a warm, maybe a warm gray. Or a little bit on the cool side, I think. I'm using cool colors, it would just turn to cool gray. All right, well, there you go. All right, I don't have to add any more to that. Um, what you see here is absolutely perfect. To be honest with you. Don't have to do any more to that. All right. Okay. It is imper important that you would keep it at a consistent stage of darkness throughout this stage here it just keeps um, it help you out with the depth of color all right okay all right we're gonna do something pretty interesting here we're gonna do our first little blocking in of trees but I'm going to do the trees behind everything first this one's behind and this one's behind all right we'll do the ones in the front a little later all right so what I'm going to do is because you still have to block it in and you have to block it in with a, um, a deeper color but the way I'm going to do this actually I can just do it with a flat I can just do it with a flat brush to be honest with you so let me take that same brush we'll just do it with the same brush the same three quarter inch flat okay and I'm going to with this deep color I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow ochre to this deep green just like this just like that and we're going to block that in with this this green all right and I'm going to keep the shapes interesting up top here right up here just like this I'm using the corner of the brush I'm just tapping some interesting little shapes up in there just like so all the rest can be blocked in okay all this here what you see in here can be blocked in just block it right in this weird brownish greenish stuff here can be blocked in toward the bottom here add like some little trail of leaves or whatever in there just open it up a little bit getting some more of the uh, ochre put it into this deep greenish here because a little bit of the sunlight hitting uh, a few of these guys all right so they're, they're a little uh, a little darker up here just kind of lightly pat in some patches of 
Now, what I'm doing this tapping motion, getting the different kind of far away leaf patterns here. Okay, you're going to kind of keep with that a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do here is come in about this far with this color. Okay, just like so. But watch what I'm going to do here. Okay, about that much of it. Let's go into our sap green. A little bit of brown in the sap green. Did not clean off my brush at all. And a slight tinge of blue for this one. Give me a certain type of darkness to the to this um, green, but it's, it's lighter. And we're going to tap in some gradual darkness for this guy because he's a little bit. The sun is hitting it where I got the lighter color. All right, but all the rest is going to be kind of on a on the dark side. You tap it a little bit in here make it look like some sunlight or whatever but all the rest is pretty solid and as you can see okay remember I told you the different types of dark even though I got green when I mean dark it don't necessarily mean black but as you can see right now okay I'm tapping in some deeper color for that fella just like that but you see all the interesting stuff going on up there all right that's gonna be your friend you're gonna appreciate that okay now the darker color for the trees toward the front all right will be darker than this but not darker than that okay all right let's go on back down to the palette here all right so to get some of that 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 color okay I'm gonna get a nice batch of it here I might end up using most of the cyan blue put the cyan blue in here okay a little bit of cyan blue get some ochre put that ochre in there so we'll get a, a blue something like like that we might lighten it up a little bit but you have to get it um, it has to be dark but like I said not as dark as this down here and just mix quite a bit of it here but you'll see what I'm talking about this is what I'm talking about with different hues and different sh different tones of a dark color okay once again not as dark as this but not as light as that and we're gonna come here and we're gonna kind of skirt the tops of this here just some interesting shapes like so put it into that into the blue put a little bit into the lighter color in there like so okay and the rest you can just block in because it's going to be just represented by nothing but the dark of just like that and put it up in here a little bit just like that and bring some of that tap some of that into this darker green you can actually see it it's not as dark as you would think okay but all the rest here can be blocked in like so try not to have any white of the paper showing okay so that's one down just like that all right one down we we'll come over here on this side we're gonna get some interesting sh patterns just like so come on up here twirl it around let's get some interesting shapes for that green in there just like that okay and you're gonna come in here you're gonna do the same thing in here because remember this is darker than the other green okay so you need to put a difference in there this is lighter than that dark color which is why I'm get, I can get away with what you see me doing right now okay just some of this that block all that in just like that right around in here you're gonna do the same thing some of that color put it into that other green to bring these trees out in front just like that all right just like so and then we're just gonna block in the rest block it right in you'll know where the kind of the border is 
to it. Now remember, you'll be highlighting the trees and all of that, so have no fear. Just block all that in with that nice dark green there. All of this will make sense in a second or two. Now, when I get to the actual painting of the of the um, of the leaves, I'll show you how I do one of each, and then I'll probably speed the camera up because uh, it will get a little monotonous. All right. We got one more. A little bit of green, a little bit of brown. A little more brown, we'll darken it up a little bit. This fella in the back. Okay, and we're just gonna give it a nice little tap. All up in here, just tap a little bit. All up in here, tap, 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 tap. Just like that, come out here, tap it. Okay, and we can block the rest in, that's all right. Like I said, this painting is not terribly difficult to do. All right. But as you look at it, I know you get the glare of the sunlight here, here, and here. But if you look, there's different colors of the of the dark. And none of them are as dark as this you see on the bottom here. All right, and all this is going to work. Trust me. So believe it or not, it will work. I am wiping off the paint is on the upper furrow here. Got some loose paint there. All right, I'm gonna clean off this brush. We're gonna move to a um, This is a number 10 flat, smaller than a half inch. And we're gonna put in some of the tree trunks. I am going to go into my umber. I'll put it right here. Okay, and a little bit of the ochre. Mix it right in there. Just like so. Now we're gonna get for to different tones and shapes, uh, different colors of this. We don't need any medium for this. Just use um, plenty of paint. All right, and here we go. We're just gonna go and do some interesting type of lines, like so. Some come into each other, so it's like that. All right, and we'll put a couple here. Do them in different thicknesses, different angles. If you got to have one branch coming over. All right, doing all sorts of interesting little things. Okay, matter of fact, we can bring this in a little bit. I'll show here you. we go, we're gonna do some more. We we'll do a couple of long ones in here like this. It comes all kind of kind of crooked. Uh, we have one come up here like that, branch it off. We'll put a couple of the floating. It looks like it's just floating there, like that. And we'll put another one here, just like that. Make them make them interesting. Have them cross into each other like this. You know, throw some interest in there with these guys. Let's go a little darker. I'm just putting a little more umber in there. The darker trees appear to be further back, okay? And if they're not dark enough, we can do something with that also. We'll throw some thicker ones in here like that. Get them fairly close to each other. All right, and just like that. We'll put a couple dangle in here in the back, back there like that. All right. Let's get a little more ochre, make it a little darker. Get some mysterious ones hanging around back there like this. Okay, we'll put some of the dark ones back there. And you got a group of them hanging around back there in the back. Just like that, have them cross. Okay, getting a little bit more of that darker color. And we'll put a couple more in here like this. All right, we'll slide over a little bit. You got the rest over there. Getting a little more ochre will brighten it up just a tad. Just a tad. There's no white or anything being added. It's just the ochre and the umber. Just different mixes of, of that. All right, we'll put a few of them right in here like that. Make them pretty thin, make them pretty thick. Come this way, have one branch out that way, like so. Interesting little patterns. You know, they put some down here like this. All right, 
just like that I'll, I'll just show you here okay just like that I had to close the blinds a little bit so you could actually see what the heck is going on there okay now as I said before what I am going to do is I'll show you an example of, uh, of this brush technique with the trees all right um, but before we do that let's get to the other part here the ground ground is relatively simple to do it's just straightforward grass to be honest with you um, the grass is a little bit on the bright side okay I do have some of this leftover green I'm putting some um, ochre in it all right and a little bit of sap green into it just to get a general um, and you can see pretty much where the where the, the grass will pretty much lay at I'm just gonna take the brush and we're gonna throw in some where we meet some of that that grass here we're just brushing it upward just to make it look kind of like natural grass there okay just like so Just like this. Just like that. Alright. And then we'll just block all this in. It's not really scientific. Just blocking it in. And then we'll get some grass texture going with this. Alright. Now. We're just. Uh, I'm listening to somebody pretty loud on, on TV. He's very entertaining. And I do love listening to them. All right. And I'm just, like I say, I'm just blocking all this in. We're just blocking in color. That's all. I'm getting a little bit of the green, a little bit of ochre. No medium. Just like that. Just block it right in. Now, when you're blocking in color, all right, I mean, it's up to you what direction you want to go. But it's just a blocking in color. You got different tones and shades and stuff happening just within the blocking in of the color just keeps everything kind of interesting all right don't worry about the color shift we're gonna we're gonna uh, uh, we'll come here and we'll just lightly tap in some interesting patterns of grass just like this all right you can um, kind of dictate how you want your grass to look and I'm just tapping I'm not dragging don't drag okay don't do that don't drag it and I'm getting fairly close to the, um, the, the, the tree edge there it's like so all right I'm not gonna make it all totally one color I'll, I'll uh, fade in some different shades in there as I'm doing this Basically getting as close as I can to the edge a little bit. Then I'll just come around and just tap in some patterns. Okay. Now when it starts getting like kind of blocky like that, you just lay off it a little bit. Like I say, I'm adding, I'm gonna be adding some other stuff in there. And I'm just using the flat edge of the brush. And the brushes that I'm using are a little bit rough. Um, they've been through a battle or two and that's basically all I'm, all I'm doing get some interesting little tidbits of color in there I'm getting a little bit of blue a little bit of brown okay and I'm gonna put it right here in the toward the corners here just like that I'll change the angle and make it look more grass like just like that. This is, this is just my preference. I kind of like darker grass in the bottom of the painting. Okay. You don't have to necessarily do this. Okay. And it's just me just tapping the interesting grass patterns in there. I'm turning the brush around. I got more paint on the other side. And it's just me just tapping and having a little fun. Especially right down toward the bottom there. Like I say, it's just me having a, having a little fun here. 
and when we get to the little bit of light highlighting and everything we'll use a um, I'll use a fan brush for it put some of that down here put some of that across here like that I'm gonna lighten all that up we're gonna join all that together okay so we're gonna take some of this and we're just gonna pepper this stuff throughout the reason why I switch brushes is because the fan brush will give you more of a natural grass look okay and like I said I'm gonna pepper some of this throughout bring it some out here like that just light little touches okay we'll bring some up around in here and this will pretty much just tie a lot of this stuff together that's all and remember you want to kind of um, marry these colors together okay I'll tilt my brush and bring some up up here a little bit like that like some tall shrubs and things like this I'll put some up in here like that um, you don't have to add too many of them but you know just to give it a little little interest it brings the ground a little bit of head of the shrubs and the the, the, uh, the bark I keep calling it bark but you guys know what I'm talking about the tree trunks here just like that and I'm just gonna continue to make little interesting little patterns and whatnot I say I just married some of this together there and make it pretty interesting just like that so it's a little bit a little bit lighter color all right there just like so okay I can um, pop in some sap green just to deepen a few parts that I might find maybe a little too too bright I can always bring some of that back just like this different colors different tones of green okay and it's just me using the uh, sap green nothing mixed with it put some up here up front to kind of tone some of that down in there bring some down at the bottom there right off the tube um, sap green just like that okay just like I said to tone some of that down I can tone down some of those some of those bushes a little bit just adding a few in there just interesting little one put some of that dark green in there too kind of put those in there just like that like I said I can tone down some of that stuff put some taller ones in there like so yeah, kind of tone some of that down just a little bit. Okay, I don't need to add any more to that. All right, so we got our focus back. Yep. All right, what I'm going to do is you see this brush? I might have to send it to the other camera. But you see the different straggly hairs on it? That's going to be our best friend. Okay, all right. This will be our best friend. We're going to get into some of the uh, sap green and I'm putting it right in just all sap green right all sap green right now that was ice falling off the side of the building okay I gotta lighten up this sap green just a little bit but not too much okay because it has to be brighter than that dark all right not too much but a little bit and what we're gonna do all right, let's get some interesting shapes. Look at this. See this? See the patch of shapes here? And that's what you're going to get. You want to have interesting patterns and shapes like this. Go a little bit different in there. You want enough of the color to be seen. You're doing interesting clumps of shapes. Okay. But they still there's some there's some pattern to these guys still up here on up top here same thing you don't want to get rid of all that dark and get rid of all that sky color okay and we can come down we can kind of narrow it down and do no, another one thick here narrow it downward and you're gonna come around on the outside here and get some more going I'm getting some more paint 
it's just the two colors right now the ochre and the sap green I put plenty of paint on the brush so I don't have to tap as hard but you see the different patterns you're getting okay and yes we will be kind of highlighting some things as we're doing this but you have to get a nice little grouping like so which you'll see me doing right now but in the grouping get an interesting pattern in a shape we'll start rounding off the trees with a, a, a lighter color and I'm turning the brush around getting interesting shapes just tapping okay especially around that edge around the edge here you want some interesting shapes happening as long as you get them in a, in a particular group grouping all right I'm holding the brush flat I'm gonna come here let's go around the edge I'll hold the brush flat and we're gonna get some nice little see little, little grouping little taps in there come around here make it extend this way and extend that way just like this but if you look at the tree right, you see the interesting clumps of shapes that are starting to happen with it okay I'm gonna lighten up the green ever so slightly I don't want snow and I don't want super vivid green all right but we're gonna um, pick certain highlight spots so I guess I, it can be a little bit to the to the left like this all right and what I'm doing is I'm establishing these groupings according to what I've already put down all right all right just like so and we can come out here a little bit it's still a series of taps just like this okay just like that I'm not gonna keep I'm twirling the brush around also gotta put some of that that green up here on the top of the trees just like this all right as this starts to come together you'll you'll understand and you'll see now when it comes all this dark down here you can bring some a little bit lower all right but keep here keep a little bits of dark flowing in there okay come out here put a couple out there I'll twirl the brush around. I guess we got a little bit of love out here. Just like that. Just like so. And you just leave it be. Alright. Don't bother it anymore. You'll still see. You see your values of green. You still see your green. You still see some pockets of dark in there. Alright. But it's not black. Or the appearance of black. But you see how dark these, these uh, that earlier color mix is. It looks like it's black. But it's not black but because you put other colors here surrounding it it doesn't have that brawny blue look to it okay okay now like I say a lot of this is going to be sped up because it can be time consuming but let's do an example for the lighter tree up here okay I'm not changing the brush we're getting more um, ochre ochre and I did not remove all the sap green all right this is going to be uh this should be perfect actually maybe a, maybe a little bit of green in that ochre but mostly mostly the ochre no white all right plenty of paint on the brush okay and here we go right here so you got little bits of of bright all right just like this look at this keep some of that keep some of that previous color now just like so all right we're coming down a little bit in here but not much it's mainly up here but look at it all right this is what I'm talking about now we're gonna add a little tiny tiny bit of white this is just an example because like I said I'll be speeding up the rest but the brighter the color listen to this rule of thumb the brighter the color the less of it you need 
All right, there. There, put some up here. Cause these is the very tops of the trees. <laughs> I should have turned the TV down cause he's really going off. And we'll put some of this bright up here a little bit there. Just like, just like that. All right, don't need too much. The brighter the color, the less of it you need. All right, and plus this tree's in the background. Now, if I pull the camera back a little bit, you'll you'll see. All right, Let's see how that looks already. Okay, all the values and tones you see up in here that helps sell the painting itself. You got me. Okay, all right. Let's zoom back in. And like I said, the rest of this probably is going to be sped up a bit, but I won't make it super elven in the chipmunk fast. But it will be sped up just to um, shorten up the video time. All right. Okay, as you see, I did the majority of it. It only took a few seconds as far as you guys are concerned. All right, got this dark tree back here. I'm going to add a lot more blue to it, just like this, just to kind of sell that it's in the back back there. We'll lighten it up, but we're not just, I'm just not haphazardly putting these in here. They're still in groupings. All right. And with this method of, 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 uh, doing the tree you still have to kind of know where you're gonna place your place your leaf clusters okay and as I'm doing this um, there'd be some bright spots even in this fella but he will be presented as being somewhere back there but there's still pockets of dark in this. All right. I'm trying to scrape off a little bit of blue I got left here. And we're gonna pop some of that bright red up in there. There's plenty of paint on my brush, so it just requires a light touch. Even though I'm doing highlights, I don't wanna get rid of all of that dark green. It's not necessary to get rid of all of that. Just like that, bring some of that down in here a little bit. That's about it for that. Don't need too much. Don't need too much at all, really. All right, going into my sap green here. Get a nice chunk of sap green because this stuff has got to go into the bristles. Okay, the slightest bit of white into that sap green. We're gonna coyly put in a few little highlights in here Just little groups of you know some bright stuff up in there usually you try to get away with doing it in little pockets of dark like so even up in up in here a little bit just up a few okay I don't need too much of this just a little bit just to sell a little bit of depth into the trees this fella uh, oh let's this, this do this too let's put some stuff back here let's overshadow this there we go 
or shadow that tree in the in the in the back back there. Put him in the back by surrounding it with a few of these lighter branches back there. See that keeps that tree in the back. You follow me? Alright, so I'm just popping in a few bits of light in there just to let you see that there's you know it's back there a bit. Alright. Let's take some of this light green, get some more white. And we'll we'll shadow another tree. We'll just kind of pop some some stuff back there, just to kind of overshadow a tree just a little bit, just like that. Just cute little things here and there. Put some back here like that. All right, not not too much, and we'll give a couple a little bit of light spots up in here. Kind of join some of them together. This is your discretion if you want to do it like that. And I don't want to add too many of them. All right. Okay. I think that's uh that's almost about it with these fellas. But I am going to add some branches. I'm going to take a round brush. This guy right here. Okay. I'm gonna get some uh some more of this brown. The the oh, um umber. A little bit of umber. A little tiny tiny bit of the yellow ochre. I'm not using any glycerin, just a little bit of water. And we're gonna throw in some, a few branches in here. Just a few. Kinda put them in there like, like so. I think you guys can see some of this. We'll put some way up here. Just like that. Make sure you uh, get your paint a little loose. So it almost has an inky consistency. Okay. I don't have to add too many of them. Put some up here, kind of come around a little crooked, it's like that. Just some some branches here and there. Okay. Just to you know, let it be known that you know these are trees back there. Let's pull back a little bit so you guys can pretty much see what we got going on here. All right, you see this? Okay. Hey, if you notice, I got the branches on the lit trees. Nothing, nothing down in here. All right, it's not really needed. But you got different values of greens going on. Different values of, of um, how the the dark plays in it. Okay, you see the patches of what would look like leaves from for uh, deciduous trees even the dark guy in the back back there kind of kind of hidden away back there okay these lit plants are a little too bright for me so we're gonna change up on that because I don't particularly want them that. because I'm thinking you know with these trees that canopy there quite a bit of shadow so we'll just darken those a little and we can kind of subdue some of that brightness just a little bit all right we can kill some of that bright you're not getting rid of all of it but we're gonna kill a lot of it that might be a little overpowering and all it takes really is a couple swipes of sap green or with some of that light stuff to kind of bring it down a little bit all right okay all right, this is actually my third painting of this subject. Um, and I am, I'm all right with, with this. I'm killing some of that bright. There, there. Kill some of that brightness there. I don't want all that bright in there like that. Don't worry about it being seen like that. Remember, acrylic paint dries through evaporation, so it will get a little uh, dark on you. All right, but I can take some of this green in the, the fan brush and I can add little glimpses of things back here. Kind of very delicate touches. There's no glycerin, no water or anything. It's just all the heavy paint. Get some leaves back in here, back here. Bring some of that down a little bit. We can bring some of that, some of that leaf play down here a little bit. Now, as you see me doing this, Okay, 
um, it's not totally overpowering the, uh, the bits of wood the trunks but I'm just bringing some of the canopy a little bit lower here and there all right that's all I'm doing I can bring some of that up in here to kind of give me a little something back there a little darkness in the canopy in there just like that and you would be able to somehow make that a, a wee bit all right as you can see there's different tones of the same color just add a little bit because it was the color mix of uh, the uh, umber and the um, yellow ochre and basically I just added more more uh, umber to the yellow ochre and you got different see these are set in the back back there some of these are coming up front okay so you did got different variances of the tree trunks in all of that dark you see how it looks just about black but it's not all right I'll just mix the um, umber ochre and green and probably a little bit of the blue which gives me such a deep dark color okay which looks black but it is not all right so you can play around with different you can play around with different hues and, and, and tones and all that wonderful stuff and I think pretty much that this is a done painting let's pull back a little bit you guys can see the whole the whole thing here just like so but in a frame it would pretty much look like that okay I got a, I have a brown frame around here somewhere I haven't oh no it's too far away I see it over there it's in the back I never got it yet but this is what it would look like in a frame okay not too bad I guess but I do have a brown one it would probably look a lot better in the brown one I have a brown one it would probably look better in the brown one oh uh, I do believe that probably uh it's probably it once again let me know what you think and um I would love to see your rendition of it very simple painting to do different take on how to do leaves um and how you would get the interesting clusters of leaves and how easy it is to actually highlight them if you chose to do so okay um Yep, let me know what you think, and I'll see you when I see you.